Hi there, welcome back to another episode in my knowledge base series. Today's episode, RSSI monitoring. So out on the flying field, once in a while you hear people yelling, hey, I'm losing my airplane, I'm going down. Well, it's important that you watch this episode as I will share with you how to monitor and analyze the signal integrity between your radio and your airplane. So let's get started. And if you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, and subscribe on this button. Thank you for watching. So. RSSI stands for Receive Signal Strength Indicator. It's a signal integrity between your radio and your airplane, okay? So RSSI is shown on your radio or similarly on your cell phone in bars, you know, like right here, upper left corner. At six bars. Right now being the strongest, meaning you have a very good signal, okay? So, but actually RSSI technically is measured in dBm, for example, Roughly with the signal between minus 30 to minus 45 dBm, the display will show six bar, bar like so. Okay. okay, so I'll I'll put up a chart showing uh, the the dBm and the bars uh, next. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, show you how to monitor the RSI through the spectrum transmitter. Okay, so I'm in the main menu right here, and I'm flying the ultra stick. Okay, so just scroll to the flight lock menu right here. Okay, so you have RSSI 100%, which is a very strong signal, which shows six bars. Okay, ABLR stands for the receiver on your plane. I only have one receiver on the ultra stick, so it show A right here. And number two stands for there was two frame loss so far in the signal integrity, and that corresponds to the big F number two, which is a frame loss. Okay, so now keep in mind, if you happen to fly to a bad region and you have 45 consecutively continuously frame loss, the hole here will become a one. And which means that you lost signal integrity of your airplane at that time. And hopefully that you flew by there really fast and you regain control again. Otherwise it would be real bad. Okay, so another thing I want to do is uh, enable a uh, warning or alarm warning when the RSSI fall uh, under a certain bad uh, percentage or DBM, okay? So let's move out to the main menu here, okay? And find the telemetry, where is it? Okay, right here, telemetry, okay? And select flight lock here. And what I wanna do is set an alarm uh, so that, um, let's see, a uh, voice. Okay, I want it to alarm a voice and vibrate the, the radio when it falls under a certain dBm. Uh, say, minus 77 dBm, which is like a two bar signal, and I want it to warn me, okay? So, another thing you wanna do is go outside and go back to file setting here, and what this does is um, it will record all the uh, RSSI log and indication onto his file name into the SD card, okay? So with a switch, so basically I have a switch here open, um, which I'm gonna use, okay, which is switch E here, okay? And if I turn it to on one, that's mean it's gonna start recording onto this file name so I can analyze the RSSI afterward. So that's all you have to do on this. Okay, so let's go flying and get some RSSI log. Okay guys, we're at the field, so let's uh, start flying and record some log. Okay, and what I have right here is, if you look at the screen, the flight log here is one receiver, okay? And there's zero frame loss and hold, okay? So basically I'm gonna turn on this switch here, which is gonna record to the SD card. See, as you can see, the SD card is starting to flip right here. There's a status bar that's moving, that means it's recording, okay? Okay, so let's get started and let's go flying.
Right, so during the flight there were so many times that the RSSI fall below minus 77 dBm and that was scary. But anyway, uh, you can see the frame loss here was 113 and there was no hole. So I saved the lock already. So let's go and analyze it, uh, the lock right now. So the lock file name is onereceiver.tlm. So you can go to Google and search for TLM m viewer and then there are many viewer that you can download to analyze the lock i happen to download this one and i just download to a zip file right here and you just unzip it and it'll come out like this and you just press the executable here and it'll bring up uh, the, the app like this and you will load the one app the tlm right here the lock collect a lot of data beside uh, telemetry here you can see a cellimeter telemetry, ESC, uh, verometer, uh, gyro, text generator, and radio input. But in our case, I'm just going to look at the standard uh, standard telemetry only. And I'm going to look at the DBM level. And you just hit the graph data here, and then it will generate a graph for you to analyze. OK, so the graph looks like this. The red line is the DBM and the bright blue line is the frame loss. And as you can see, there were many instances of it went below minus 77 dBm. But what is alarming, there was four instances that it went to like minus 125 dBm. That's the arrow show right here. And when that happened, you can tell that the frame loss is getting high at this uh, uh, arrow up here. As you can see right here, that's very alarming. So in summary, I hope that by sharing this video with you all, you could take it and apply to your case of checking out the RSSSI signal integrity for your radio and plane in your flying field environment. 
Maybe you are flying away from the city with your radio and 2.4 gigahertz band and there are not any interference and you don't need to worry about this signal integrity. But if you happen to be flying in a field near a city with lots of 2.4 gigahertz saturation and interference like me, as you can see here, then you should monitor and check your RSSI as I share with you in this video. A solution to this problem could be adding another second receiver. Well, be sure to check back for my next release video of Do You Need a Second Receiver in Your Plane? So, happy flying and bye now!